<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I teach you everything you need to know about accounting, audit, the CPA lifestyle, and everything in between. That sounds awesome to you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and welcome to the accounting channel. In the past few months, I did the absolute unthinkable. After spending seven years of my professional career in public accounting and becoming an audit manager, I thought it was time for a change. And I left public accounting, but came back. In today's video, I wanna give you my background, my experience being outside of public accounting and why I decided to come back. Leaving the firm was one of the toughest decisions I ever had to make during my professional career. Maybe it's a bad thing that I do this, but I wear my work on my sleeve and I take a lot of pride in what I do. Up to that point in my professional career, I had been with the same firm for seven years and really thought I was going to build my life there. I really did love and enjoy the work I was doing, the relationships I was building, the person I was becoming in the process, and always striving to increase my status within the firm. Throughout my career, I always made building relationships my main priority. Maybe that comes from my years of working at Chipotle so long and always wanted to make sure that my customers were always happy to see me. Although I was enjoying my time at the firm, 2021 was a tough year for me on a personal and professional level. I felt like I had stopped growing. I wasn't consistent in the gym. My personal relationships began to struggle a lot and they really weren't where I wanted them to be. I let go of the one thing that gives me the utmost fulfillment and the most intrinsic value from anything I've ever done, this YouTube channel. And on a work and professional level, it just wasn't the same for me. The social aspect of my day-to-day -day job that I enjoy the most out of what I do was just kind of taken away from me. I was constantly on Zoom calls where I could tell that every single person on the call was really fatigued of the tough year that everyone had. I also allowed external factors like news, politics, and headlines, and things that I had absolutely no control over dictate how I felt that day. I allowed my daily emotions get the best of me. I somehow convinced myself in my head that changing jobs would maybe that change of pace would make me feel a little better. I also started asking myself if staying at the same firm was even reasonable. I mean, nowadays no one stays at the same place and I kind of convinced myself that maybe I was doing the wrong thing by not trying something else. During my process of submitting my letter of resignation to the firm and looking for a job elsewhere, I got a crazy amount of offers from so many companies. But there was a client of mine that I had been working on since I was an associate at the firm seven years ago. After so many years of working on the engagement, I eventually became the manager on the job, the main point of contact, and I was running the entire global audit. When they found out that I was leaving the firm and it was literally on my last day after I had actually left the firm, they gave me a call and offered me a position. They gave me an offer I just could not refuse. The stability, the money, the familiarity with the company, I knew everyone there. It was just something I couldn't pass up. So I left the firm and joined the company that I had been working on for the past seven years in my career. This company is a multinational billion dollar conglomerate and I was super excited for this new challenge. I ended up taking the assistant global controller role where I oversaw a hundred different companies worldwide and over 1 billion in revenue. The first two months were great because I was learning a new skill. I was learning to close the books and do things I had never been exposed to. I was also given a really cool project when I started that I had to determine the networking capital of a company we just made a deal on. After the initial learning process, it got a little bit repetitive for me. I also didn't know where my career was going anymore. Although being a controller is a great position that provides a lot of stability and pays very, very well, I'm not sure that it really fit my personality and the role was a good fit for me. I have always been driven by chasing the next goal and I really didn't see a clear path for me. I was also required to be in the office five days a week, which isn't the worst thing, but me being a manager in audit and being in audit my whole career, I had really never been used to being at a place more than a few days at a time. That was also a big adjustment for me. I really think the biggest thing for me was the social interactions I was having was really just limited to my accounting team and my internal coworkers. The older I get and the more mature I get in my career, the more I realize what I need for my day-to-day -day work to really feel whole and make myself feel like I'm actually achieving something. Although I was making more money now, it really didn't feel much different. Not knowing where I was headed and not really having a clear goal for my professional career anymore really was something that I, I couldn't live with. Having a clear goal for some time, something that I'm working towards in the future is what drives me on a personal and professional level. Although the management team treated me great and I still have an awesome relationship with them and everyone at the company was super nice to me and nothing really bad ever happened, I just didn't think the role was a good fit for me. I know I mentioned this a lot on this channel, but keeping and maintaining your personal and professional relationships is critical. I made a few calls to people in my network, letting them know that I was thinking about returning to the firm. Before coming back to the firm, I laid out exactly what I wanted, what I wanted to work on, and made sure that everyone was on the same page as to my goals as why I wanted to come back. 
And now officially, as a few weeks ago, I am an audit senior manager at the firm and could not be more happier with the challenges and goals that I have for the future. There are really three main reasons why I came back to public accounting. The first reason is I actually love audit work. I enjoy accounting and teaching my teams how to address certain items. I enjoy meeting new clients and figuring out ways on how I can help them. I work on clients in the middle market, which allows me to add a personal touch to the work I do and I have a much closer relationship with my clients. Although audit can be tedious sometimes and there are some painful points of the job, you can't name a job or even if you own your own business where some parts of your job just aren't the funnest and you need to grind through them. But more often than not, I really, really enjoy the work. The second reason I came back to public accounting is the flexibility and the social aspect. I never realized the flexibility I had in public accounting until I left. By flexibility, I mean running how my day-to-day -day looks like. As an audit senior manager, I pretty much run my day-to-day -day and how each week looks like. If I have an audit going on, I make sure that my audit team is getting all the work done and my clients' needs are attended to and I am always 100% available to my clients. I enjoy the fast-paced lifestyle I have of being everywhere and constantly needing to improve my technical accounting and social skills. A big part of my job is cultivating and strengthening the relationships I have that can potentially lead to business opportunities at some point in the future. I am constantly meeting new people and making my relationships stronger. I am challenged to be a leader every day and that's what drives me. The third reason I came back to public accounting is because I want to be a partner at the firm. It's not so much the goal of becoming a partner that motivates me. It's the change that needs to happen within myself and the progress I need to make to make sure I get to that next level. I know for a fact four years from now, I'm going to be a completely different dude because of the skills and the person I need to become to get to that next level. Just in the past few weeks, I am dressing better, working out more, working more, uploading more consistently, and I feel great. Although I am working more now than in my previous job, I literally feel like I have more time and energy for everything. In conclusion, no matter where you take your talents, you need to make sure that your job or business is fulfilling your personal and professional needs. Firms, companies, job titles, they always change, but the person you become and the skills you build, you will always carry with you. As of now, I plan to exponentially grow this channel, continue to grow my technical skills, be, get in the best shape of my life, and continue to help young accounting professionals build a life for themselves through this beautiful skill that we call accounting. The future is bright and I cannot wait for what's to come. All right, guys, it's going to be it for the video today. If you found value in this video, please make sure to smash the like button below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time. Work hard, dress well, peace.